da 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 It's Vlogmas! Day 24. Christmas Eve! Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. You guys are watching A Rich and Jazzy Live. If you guys are not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Turn on that bell notification so you know every time we come out of a vlog. And do me a favor, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and that will really help us out and we'll be so grateful for it. Um, today is Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? I will say this month went, it flew by. Like flew crazy by. fast. Christmas Eve already. I don't know about y'all, but for us, it went by so quick. Christmas is here. Santa is yeah. coming tonight. It's it's crazy how quick this month went it's by. It's over just like that. Vlogmas. We got one more after this video. We got one more and we're done. So it's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. It just went by so fast. All right, guys. So yes, the year has gone by so fast. Um, come out with us today and see what we did on Christmas Eve. So come along, get ready for our Christmas Eve journey. And spend the day with us. Yeah, spend the day with us. Alrighty guys, we are in a different warehouse. My favorite warehouse. It's Sam's Club. Not even your favorite warehouse. This is my favorite warehouse. You just be wanting to say something different. No, I don't. Oh, look at Velasio pillows, $20. Oh wow, Rich, these pillows feel amazing. They really do, but we have a king size bed and we can't put queen size pillows on a king size bed. But those really do, those oh, wow. those are real nice pillows. It's like some kind of gel in there. See, that's what we need. The kind of pillows that be at the Bellagio. Wow. <laughs> yeah, those are nice. It's so hard to find like the perfect pillow. Do you guys what agree? Is the perfect pillow? I don't know. This is the hotel collection. These feel really nice too. How come they don't have no king size? Hmm. So we're just, it's its Christmas Eve, guys. It's crowded. We I'm going. It would be more crowded than this, right? uh, it's pretty crowded. Well, maybe we're good now. <laughs> when it's time for us to get on the line, the line is going to be horrific. Yeah. Um, oh, look, they do have king size pillow, but it's not the Bellagio. Oh, no, no. Oh, but it's queen. Meow. Oh, you're not going to the last day today. <laughs> Hunter Boots, how much? Oh, $80. Richard, as many socks as you have. I'm, am I the only person that's so sick every time you do laundry? The, the amount of socks you have to fold up? Oh my gosh, it's sickening. And Richard just keeps buying socks. You need to buy more. No, you don't. I'm so sick of them. Just in case you don't do laundry, at least I know I have clean socks. Oh my goodness. Or you could just wash your own socks. That would be nice. <laughs> no, he does do laundry. Richard does laundry a lot. Didn't I just do the last like four or five loads of laundry? Yes, she did. I didn't fold it, but I, I washed it. Yeah, and I've had to fold four or five loads of laundry. But hey, washing it and sorting it is half the battle. If I can get like I saw something online that said if you can choose like something to get help with, whether it's a nanny service, a personal chef, um, someone to clean your home, laundry. I said I would do a housekeeper, someone to do my like to keep my house like the floors mopped, the the laundry washed. That is what I choose. I don't need a personal chef. Why are we going this way? I was just looking. I wanted to see the Christmas items that they had, like you know, clearance it's gone. stuff. Yeah, it's all gone. Everybody bought Christmas stuff this season. <laughs> Um, but yeah, but laundry, I want you, it's a real sore spot in our house. 
Definitely. We just hate it. But we like to have clean clothes, you know? Definitely. I mean, <laughs> who don't like clean <these> jobs? <laughs> All right. So Rich and I are not champagne drinkers, but... Oh, oh it's sparkling, sparkling wine. wine. Oh. oh, okay, that just oh. changes the game. Prosecco. 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 <laughs> Oh, so it's not like a variety mm -hmm. uh, box or nothing. Well, it says on the side, okay. babe, that it comes with risol risotto. Three different types? Cava. Four different types. Yeah, four different types. Except for this Prosecco, this specific one, it has only one. Which is weird. Exclusive. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to be like countdown to New Year's. That's so it's seven cool. bottles. Obviously, you get it the week before. Unless you just want to count down all day and just drink all seven. On well, New Year's Eve. Seven hours to New Year's. Right, exactly. Hey. Seven minutes. <laughs> it's been New a Year's. long year for some. <laughs> for some people, they want to get just start drinking as soon I mean, as they wake. To be honest, this is not a lot. This is not a lot. No. I feel like, like this is two gulps. No, it's not. It, Big gulps. Do you think that'll pour? That would pour like a glass and a half. Yeah, a good flute. I mean, this would fill a flute up. Yeah. And for twenty-five dollars, that's not bad. Yeah, I think it's cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not for us. No, not for us, so we're just gonna leave it. Yeah. I like the 12 days of wine calendar though. We would have, that should be on sale. It's past 12 days of Christmas. That should have been on but sale. Right. Yeah. We could have did the 12 hours till Christmas, you know? Get started. Hey. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm just we kidding. Share one. <laughs> no. So, it's Christmas Eve. So, we're gonna have us, we haven't had one of these in a while since the summertime, right? Yeah, we ate too much of it, so we had to lay off. <laughs> yeah, right. We can't have beef all the time, so... Um, right now, it's $11.98 a pound. It's usually like $8.98, but you know, it's the holidays, so they're going to up that price. But, um, we're going to get to... For tonight's dinner. We always get this salsa water. I love La Croix. Salsa water, like, just runs through our house because we love salsa. We prefer to drink, um seltzer over uh soda so we drink soda time to time when we got a taste for it but not much how's that line going i'll repeat that how's that line going it's all right <laughs> there's a lot of lanes open so. there's a lot of lanes open i just wish that it was more people like checking it's only two registers with um cashiers checking people out we actually have to check ourselves out i don't feel like Putting, I don't feel like doing work. <laughs> I don't feel like checking myself out. I just want somebody to beep it for me. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> well, at least there's only two people in front of us. Three. It's actually three people in front of us. You didn't know that guy was by himself, did you? No. Oh, she worked here. Oh, she, why is she not in uniform? We have vests then. Right. <laughs> okay, we're next, guys. So we are at Kroger. In this nasty weather, picked up a few things. Come on inside, guys. I thought you said you just need a seasoning. The kids, the kids. The only thing for the kids on there is the, the cupcakes on top. Do we have? Chicken broth to make the mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. So guys, you see, it's snowing. It's not exactly a white Christmas because it's mixed with rain, but it's cold and it's a nasty day. I will be in the house for the next couple of days. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So you see, I got a jacket on. It is literally below freezing, but those tomahawk steaks. Below freezing. It is. Is it? Anything under 32 degrees is below. It's below 32 degrees. Wait, what are you laughing for? Oh, I didn't think it was below freezing. Yeah, check the temperature before you try to laugh at somebody. My bad. So it's below freezing. And excuse me, will all these kids stop tapping on me? Get out of here, gremlins. So you are gonna I Alright, you all stay in here. So like I said, the tomahawks cannot be fancier. They're just too damn big. So, 
you gotta sear it on the grill. See that? That's what puts in that work. Woo! I got one that's already done. See how you got that perfect grill on the outside and then it's really big so this is gonna have to go in the oven but that's where I'll get my little seasonings and spices going on there. I already seasoned it a few hours ago. This one should be ready to come off. Let's see. Without burning yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. See that? Woo! Cooking with Richie. No, it is not 12:39 a.m. Am I the only person who, like we just always reset? It always for resets. Some reason. Our power always goes out and it comes back on. No, in the middle only of the night. This one. No, it, it the, when the power really? of the house goes out, everything goes off. Well, I didn't know that happens all the time. Yeah, that happens all the time. Anytime I say, "Oh, let me reset now," I don't even care. So y'all can think of what time this is. I don't care. I don't care no more. <laughs> so we've got our searing done, guys. If you look closely, you'll see. There's garlic in here. Each piece of steak has about five pieces of garlic in there. You, you How know. many ounces do you think this steak is? I don't know. I don't really count. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I never look at the total amount, to be we honest. We need to look at how many pounds it is. So when I look out. in a restaurant, I know what I'm comparing to, right? Right. We'll look on the package to see how many pounds this was. So I normally, guys, would make um, a ribeye seared. So what I do is I make that anyway because it gets to What is open that? Up. What it's is that? Some thyme, some <laughs> rosemary, garlic, and I normally butter. sear it in that with butter. Lots right, no butter. oil. That's all butter. So what I do is I make that anyway on low heat just so it kind of opens up the herbs. And then I pour it on here, and we're gonna have to go in the oven for a little bit, because it's so- Close, that thick is- It's so thick. thick. You yeah. can't just cook that on the grill. Right, you have to You have to cook it. I mean, we're you not- You can, gonna... I've, seen, I've seen someone like do it on a charcoal, but like a indirect heat on the grill. Mm. I said I would like to try that. That might um, be good. Put the yeah. charcoal on one side. Yeah, people do that actually. They, they finish it off on the grill. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. They do, they do the sear thing that you do. And right, then and it, then they put it on a grill. Then the they put it on grill. a charcoal. Yeah. Oh, charcoal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see people put it on a regular grill, too. It's it's if not far off from be going in the oven at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's going to add those rosemary pieces on top, guys. Alrighty, well, this is not a full cooking vlog, so... Uh, we just want to show you how it's going. We just want to show you guys how it's going. Yay. Yes. Yay, yay. <laughs> Why did I just do that? Wow. <laughs> That was not unnecessary. <laughs> Very unnecessary. <laughs> and what are you doing? Thank you. I always get the girls these little crabs for every holiday. Even when it's not a holiday, I just think it's good for the kids to just paint and just work on their art skills. You get these this stuff from the Dollar Tree. Hey guys, I made purple. You made purple. What colors make purple? Well, what colors is that? Thank you for pointing, but we didn't hear you. Um, it's, um, I will show you guys, so. What's the name of the colors? So, it's red, it's probably red. Mix it up. And then it's probably blue to mix it up. And that creates? Purple. Very nice. Blue and red creates purple. I don't know. Oh, you make a purple boots. Cute. Very nice, girls. And you're painting a snowman? Yes, I am painting a very cute snowman. But here's a twist. It is a trendy snowman. A trendy snowman. Yes, with the latest trends. Shout out to Chef Rich. Something light over here, guys. Just a little light night here. Except for the monster. About to Tomahawk say. ribeyes. <laughs> Maybe it's not so light. Cowboy ribeyes is not light, but it's gonna be light in my belly. It's gonna lightly float off that fork into my mouth. Bruh. That was so great. <laughs> so that looks great. Came out good. We got nice sear outside there. Smelling good. We got some garlic mashed potatoes here. I didn't make this, nor will I eat it. But um it looks good. Shrimp scampi. Yep. I made. Wait, where are we? And a Caesar salad. We got Caesar salad and some cream spinach. Just enough for us. Ready to eat? No? 
They ate them. They had their own little dinner. So I'm not sure if they're hungry. Okay. But I know I'm ready to eat. Autumn, you ready to eat? Yes. Autumn's going to eat again. Okay, so you don't have to eat again. We don't need you to eat. We are ready to eat. Right, we're ready to eat. You always eat. All right, guys, so this is not a mukbang. So we'll be back after we have our dinner. See you later. All right, guys. So that was our Christmas Eve. Rich and I did some running around. And the girls did some arts and crafts. We kept it simple. We had a beautiful dinner. It was good, right? You enjoyed it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really good. Shout out to Rich for making that delicious dinner. I'll be looking for a Christmas dinner tomorrow, though. What? I'll only cook one for that. And um, you already use your coupon. <laughs> I yeah. use my coupon. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Wisely. <laughs> You'll be cooking again tomorrow. Okay, so guys, we are looking forward um, to Christmas tomorrow. I hope they understand sarcasm because some people think I'm serious. No, see, so yeah, some people think you're very serious. They don't get your sarcasm. It's a joke, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cook tomorrow. <laughs> um, tomorrow is Christmas. Are you girls excited for Christmas tomorrow? Yes. Always remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. Someone said um, that in a comment, but yes, I 100% agree. Mommy. Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes. Um, tomorrow, can we have Uncle Corey? Tomorrow, can everybody want to meet our present? Yes, we yes. will record your present. Yes, we will record tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we will record tomorrow, and um, you girls need to get in bed because Santa Claus, he's going to skip over our right. house if you don't get into the bed soon. You have to be sleeping in order for him to come down our chimney. Yeah, right? and then he had two trees. Yes. yes. So we'll see which Christmas tree he puts the gifts under um, tonight. I think he's going to put two of them. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right, guys. If you guys <laughs> enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to leave a what? Comment. And give it a huge thumbs up. And share with your, your friends and family. Thank you, ladies. And until tomorrow, which is Christmas, uh, continue to live. And Rick and Jazzy live. Bye. So, you have your cookies and what? Milk and carrots. Who's the carrots for? Your reindeers. Very nice. That looks great, Rain. Yep. You gonna leave that out for Santa Claus? Yeah, because Santa Claus will love this. Yeah. He likes um, milk, cookies, and and want to tell me a ranger like carrots. How many carrots did you put? Um, I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I put twelve. Very nice. And oh. I put a one, two. Well, we don't need you to count how many cookies. We gonna be. We don't got all day. Yeah, we fix the cookies. Okay. So oh. guys, we are going to bed because Santa knows if you're awake. Yep. And and wanna tell me? Oh, um, she gonna wake up for. She gonna stay up for Christmas. No, Autumn is going to bed, and so do you. You need to go to bed. Yeah, and tomorrow we can have hot chocolate. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Let's go there. And what? I'm going to say goodbye to the O. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got to say bye to Mr. O. Bye.